you want abs, just work out your legs. Legs is the biggest muscle you have in your body, so you spend more energy, so it makes all sense. It's all connected today with legs and abs. So we start with the legs. We ended up with the abs. We start with the legs. It's like, how can I say, it's a warm-up for the abs. Because when you're doing legs, you're using your abs as well. So at the end, you train your abs. So it's a legs, abs workout, legs, abs session. Abs, we did like a super set, a non-stop set. Uh, it's kind of a sequence that I do it. So I work my abs inside out. I start with my transverse. I go for my obliques and my rectus abdominalis. So this is the way I work my abs inside out. I start with planks to do that. We can do that different types of planks, but the one that I use is called the Superman plank. So it gives you more instability. So it forces you to work more your core, forces you to work more your transverse. That's the best way of squeezing your internal. It's called in, is an internal belt that we have. It's a transverse. So that's the way we started. And after that one, I, I go for side planks, works your obliques. After I still with uh, with the isometric training, isometric share on the on the floor, and afterwards I start to work my obliques. Obliques. There is different types of exercise: twisting. Squeezing on the side, there is many different types of scissors, so side scissors. and we finish with the uh, classic crunches. So I want to go to failure, so I push myself to the limit at the end for crunches. Crunches is the most stable one, so it's the one I can do effectively better. And besides that, is the, is the rest of the abdominal. So it's the one I want to do to work out, uh, not at the beginning, but at the end. You want to be perfect technique, and you want to go get to failure. If you do it non-stop, you will find that it's not easy to do. For me this one works well. I do train my halves with weights as well, but uh, the, for me the most effective one so far, that I, the one that I've been using more, is this type of non-stop circuit, non-stop circuit. I believe it works better because the halves is kind of a resistance muscle because you use it through all the day, so you're always using your halves. So that's why I think it responds better to this resistance high reps training, like it's not the same thing of a biceps or a chest. And of course, you need to have the genetics, but you can go all this around. If you don't have the genetics, you need to train and work even harder. So you need to train them more in the kitchen. So what I believe, I always train my halves in the kitchen, but um, the thing what I believe is all combined genetics, dieting and training. Of course, if you don't have the genetics, it will be harder. For some people, it takes longer. For some, for some people, it takes less. So it's up to you how hard you train, how much effort you put in, so um, about your diet, everything you do, if you focus, if you want something, so just do it. So it might take longer or less, but just go for it. The training that we've done today, of course it can make a difference. Of course, it's not only the diet. You need to try to pump out your abs. So you need to create an hypertrophy. The first thing that people want is, I believe, most they want abs. They want to see nice and good abs because shoulders, biceps, even legs, like everybody can get that. So size, everybody can get that. So I think it's what causes more impact is the abs. The first thing that people look at, abs. I think middle section is the first one you look at. <laughs>